Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thanking you for another morning dear Lord. Some of us may have overslept, but we give you thanks nonetheless for a restful night. Thank you for another day that we can get up, live, have our being, and I just pray that we always do so in you. That we do not forget, dear Lord, that the days are at hand and we shouldn't be living our lives carelessly in any sort of way, but we should be observing our walk in you especially those who claim that they serve you we should be observing our walk every single moment of our lives and not in a way that we are now anxious but in a way that we are now fearful in that we are walking circumspectly that we respect the instructions that you have given us and that we are learning from you each and every day to do those things which are well pleasing unto you and we know ultimately that what is going to lead unto the perfection found in you lord jesus christ and some may say i'm only human i will never attain it but even this morning in with this prayer i just pray that you open up their understanding to know that all things are possible through <clears throat> through and by you lord jesus christ and as you have walked perfectly, so you are able to do in us likewise. Not of our own self, not of our own strength, but you doeth the work in us. So as we do contemplate on these things, I just pray as always that we don't become overwhelmed, that we don't become disheartened, but that we are just wholly putting ourselves to the throne of Christ and asking for those living sacrifices which are found or, or should be offered up from us should be do, done so in a holy, acceptable manner, dear Lord Jesus Christ. So I thank you for this understanding. For those who are still struggling with this, I just pray that, as always, you help them and you help those who are of, with strength in you. As this word said, we should be helping the weak um those who are struggling so i just pray that this saying be accomplished in our lives dear lord and that though we go through the test and trials um i just pray that you teach us to <coughs> teach us in our manner of love of love to suffer long as you have told us so that these things that come upon us in this life we are able to face because I we don't want to flee from them. We'll face anything, any challenges. And we overcome them by the spirit of God. Which you have given us for our endurance. And that we are able to teach our young ones likewise. In the obedience of Christ Jesus. So that they can be led and grown up in the way of truth. And the knowledge of who you are. As what a blessed thing is it is to know you from our youth and to abide in you from our youth dear lord so i just pray that this be done to the next generation especially seeing all the evils that is set out to draw them away from serving you so lead us in spirit and in truth in this in your word this morning lord let everything be said of you and by you and for you according to your knowledge your truth your word being led by your holy spirit to the glory of god our heavenly father we pray amen all right so revelation 3 verse 20 says behold i stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door i will come into him and will sup with him and he with me amen all right so i've been thinking on this um since this morning this verse and what I've, I've, i'm very visual and maybe a lot of you do this uh, being a, a, a bit visual when you're reading these scriptures and i just was thinking about the meekness of god um he's not one to be forceful right 
he always gives us the, 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 the ability to choose between what he says and what he doesn't say. Unfortunate for us is that that choice entails us choosing to live or choosing to die. And we're not talking choosing to live or choosing to die. I'm talking the eternal life and the eternal damnation, right? Because ultimately what God tells us to do is always going to lead unto life um, eternal, right? What he tells us not to do is that is going to lead unto eternal damnation and death and destruction, right? And I know that this is a struggle for a lot of people because some people always say, why I can't just choose to live how I want to live? Why I always have to listen to God? The most I can um, expound on that in its shortest, simplest form is that God is the definition of good, right? In him, there is no evil at all. Every single thing that he tells us to do, according to his love, will lead unto goodness, pleasure and love. And as I said, life eternal. There is though the, the one which is contrary to God in every way, shape or form. And that is the devil. He hates us. Every single thing that the devil wants to do going to lead us unto damnation and destruction. Because he's already damned and destined for there. There's no redemption for him. And his hate for us is so much so that he could have just went off to um, the, the eternal lake by himself. Right. If he, deci he decided to for, uh, forfeit his his righteous stance with God, he could have went off to the um, eternal um, place of damnation by himself. But guess what? He's pure evil in so much that he would want to deceive every single one of us to join him. Not that he, he can get any pleasure from it because he's going to be burnt up into the lake of fire as everyone else who decides to go there. But his evil is that he wants to take as much as possible into that place of damnation with him. God knows this and God tells us that if you follow him, you're going to end up with him where he is. Because there's no salvation or redemption for him. But for you, humankind, the salvation for you has appeared to all men in the form of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Who came down, lived a perfect life so that he could atone for our sins, died crucified and died let me not leave out crucified because he suffered a lot he didn't just pass on you know gently and gracefully and slept with his father no he was crucified died and was buried and rose on the third day for us to show the love for us and so that we can have salvation with him redemption by him right so we can be in that part in that company of eternal life and eternal goodness because that is ultimately what we look for this mortal life is just a vapor it, it comes and it goes if you compare it if you compare it to eternity right so our true life what we're looking for is that eternal life but whilst we abide here we ought to um we ought to live a life that is pleasing unto him and went off on a little bit of a tangent there but it's a good it's a good lesson right I was going to speak on something different <laughs> this morning, but um, yeah, that maybe was needed for somebody, right? So, as I said, just read these. This chapter de dealt with the the church of God, right? They were sp split up in seven dis um um geographic relocation at the time of this prophecy, right? But we know that we are still the church, and we still learn from each and every one of these, right? Not that we say, yes, we're, I'm the church of Philadelphia. Because we know everybody like jump on that bandwagon. No. Use the whole text and screen yourself, right? Screen yourself so you know what the Lord expects from us and what he is not pleased when we do, what we, of what we do, right? Because he goes in depth with this. And as I said, he's, a, he's so loving and kind. He'll, st he'll stand on the door and knock because he's not going to force his way in. He's, he's, allow he's allowing you to receive him, right? <laughs> Only the devil will try to force him way in because he has nothing about him, right? But as I said, our God is meek and mild, lowly, right? And humble and loving. And this is why we love him because he first loved us. And this is why we serve him because he, he serves us and have served us in the ultimate serv servitude, which, as I said, he redeemed us from all damnation. 
So I'll leave it at that this morning, everyone. <laughs> read, read the chapter for yourself. I went off on a tangent, but as I said, that might have been for someone. Any questions, any comments, what you want to share, you can share in the comment section or you can send into the word at eachreach1.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.